beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the Word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed now there are other kinds of lives that you can access. You can access a life assisted by the realm of the spirit. It may not be eternal life. Are we together now? I can go to a native doctor to program a mystery in a charm and aid me to live a life that is higher than the normal human life. So I will be able to demonstrate possibilities that may not be affordable to the natural man, but it still is not eternal life. So we are not talking of any life that is above the human life. There are many kinds and quality of lives and living that are above the human life, but are not God's life. Are we together? When you meet a rich man, although it's all human life, because of the quality of what he or she eats and the children, their health and the possibilities that come with the kind of life would be far different from someone who eats once a week, once in two days. Are we together now? When you meet someone who um, has had access to certain drugs that can aid vitality, you would find that whether they are supplements or whatever it is, there is an advantage that those provisions create to such a person that will reflect in the quality of his life from another. So when Jesus is talking about eternal life, it's not a cater of lives and then his own is the highest. No, no. Eternal life is a class of life incontestable and incomparable with any other. It's a class of life that reflects who God is. He programmed all the possibilities in him like a software and encapsulated it in that life so that whoever receives that life receives potentials potentials notice my choice of words receives the potentials to reflect all that are in christ and all the possibilities that are enshrined in the person now many christians come to give their lives to christ we come out for an altar call we recite all kinds of things like many will be doing shortly but very few people pastor jakes really understand that kind of life are we together and not understanding what we have received will shortchange us and for many people their idea of eternal life is we only received an escape from hell which will be useful one day so for now let's keep it and go back to our normal life at death it becomes activated that is the idea that many people have about what we call eternal life so they say are you born again they say yes what they mean is i got that thing that saves me from hell but it's somewhere hidden i will keep living my defeated life and then if for any reason death comes is the trigger i bring it out as an escape 
Are we together now? The Bible says whatsoever is born of God. The word born of God is if it is God that introduced the seed that gave birth to it. Has in it. It says overcomes the world. Not because of the possessor. But because of what is inside the possessor of that life. Whatsoever is born of God. Has capacity to overcome the world. And it says this is the victory that overcomes. Even our faith. That's something I'll be discussing shortly. So eternal life is not life after death. Eternal life is God's life that grants a man ascendance to release the possibilities of God here and now. Are we together? It is important that we understand this. It will reflect in the quality of your life and it will reflect in everything. The moment I give my life to Christ, Brothers and sisters, the Bible says, listen to me carefully. It says that I have been called as a result of that initiation out of every tribe, out of every tongue, out of every nation, and by implication, out of the limitations that come with those systems. Are we together? Let me tell you something about eternal life. Eternal life is a fact. One of the tenets of the Christian faith is the fact that when a man declares the lordship of christ over his life he is a possessor of eternal life it's a fact there are many tenets what we call the pillars of the christian faith number one of them is that salvation is only through jesus christ you have to know what you believe salvation salvation is only through jesus christ the bible says there is no other name under heaven given to man by which men must be saved the first tenet of the christian faith is the exclusive authority of christ to be the only one to bring men to the father no prophet no priest no apostle no prophet no religion no sect can claim to route you through another path to the father the bible says no man cometh to the father except by me the authorized medium to access the father and the life of god is jesus christ you are not a christian if you don't believe this number two salvation is by grace apart from works the second tenant of the of redemption the christian faith the pivot upon which everything we receive is salvation as far as receiving the life of christ comes it is by grace through faith and not by any ritual the word works there does not mean no action that's not what it means there is an action your faith is an action are we together the works there gives an idea of ritualistic activities i don't have to slaughter an animal I don't have to go to the mountain in Israel to bow my head. I don't have to face the sun or face Jerusalem. All of those ceremonial rituals have been ended. The Bible says Christ is the end of that law, not the end of action. The end of the law. Are we together now? There are three dimensions of the law. Not all of them left. You have to understand this. There is the revelation of the law that is the revelation of the character of God. That will never change. It predated the law. It, it will never change. The universality of God's character is consistent. Whether from the Old Testament, the New Testament, the soul that sins will die. Nothing changes it. Grace only intercepts it, but that reality is still a fact. Are we together? Number two, there is the ceremonial activity of the law. That has been abolished. The observation of sons, observation of festivals, and, and so on and so forth, in a way to know God, is being abolished. Are we together? Number three, the rituals. The rituals that men practice in an attempt to atone for their sins. So when the Bible says Christ is the end of the law, it doesn't mean that the coming of Christ changes the character of God. The universality of God's character is a fact. I am the Lord, I change it not. Are we learning something tonight? You have to understand the tenets upon which you stand. That number one, Jesus Christ is the only way to the Father. Number two, that justification by faith is an act of His grace. 
you must understand this it was an activity that no man could qualify to even participate and help God so he had to do it by himself the only responsibility of the believer as far as the impartation of eternal life is concerned is to believe and act by faith according to Romans chapter 10 from verse 8 and 10 it says who shall ascend to heaven and come he said the word is nigh thee in thy heart and even in thy mouth the word of faith that we preach right that if you confess that Jesus is Lord and believe with your heart you shall be saved for with the heart man believes unto righteousness the Bible says and with the mouth confession is made unto soteria salvation so justification is by faith I don't come to God with a goat hoping that if if any priest ask you to come with a goat you see that he's not he's not practicing all of that again are we together now very very important number three the third thing you have to understand is that the Holy Spirit is the custodian of the life of God the Holy Spirit is the custodian of the life of God it is in the office of Jesus the son to introduce you to that life but the personality that holds that life within you is the Spirit of God and that only in partnership with him will you have capacity to release the possibilities in that life it's called the fellowship of the Spirit you must know this if you want to work as a believer the Holy Spirit represents the ministry of Christ now every time the Bible says in Christ it means in partnership with the Spirit that hails from him I can do all things through Christ in partnership with him the Holy Spirit is the custodian of the life of God and the one who makes it possible to release the potentials there listen to me very carefully you can be a possessor of the life of God but not a manifester of the possibilities contained in that life there are two different things possessing eternal life by confessing Christ is a fact has nothing to do with your feelings but working experientially in the reality of that life has to do with your partnership with the Holy Spirit so he says grace and peace be multiplied to you through knowledge first Peter chapter 1 verse 3 says according as his divine power has given us all things that pertain unto life and godliness listen carefully according as his divine power has given us how many things all things that pertain unto life and godliness that all things was shrouded in a mystery called Zoe brought by the Holy Spirit his very presence is the proof of Zoe in you he's the witness the spirit of adoption are we together now and then the Bible says but they are accessed through knowledge according as his divine power hath given us all things that pertain unto life and godliness it says through the knowledge here is here, here is the big confusion in the body of Christ through the knowledge of him that has called us into glory and virtue the next verse says wherefore has he given us these great and exceedingly precious promises that by them by releasing them we may prove experientially that we are partakers of his divine nature having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust so I have eternal life but that eternal life is a possibility potentially speaking is at work in me it will never stop the devil from buffeting you but in partnership with the Holy Spirit manifesting as various things including the spirit of revelation that Paul prayed for in Ephesians chapter 1 he was talking to people who were already born again but were not releasing the possibilities that came with that life and he says for this cause for as a as a token of my desire for you to walk in these dimensions I bow my knees to the father of our Lord Jesus Christ that he may grant unto you the spirit of revelation wisdom revelation in the knowledge of him that your heart although has received eternal life that it be flooded with light are we together now then he says that you may understand the power that was exerted when he raised Christ from the dead etc etc so I can be born again you can be born again but the reality 
of the implication of that life may not find expression that's why the bible says it is by grace available by grace but accessible through faith listen carefully available by grace but accessible through faith and the word faith there does not just mean believing the faith there is a summation of every partnership that you have to go through in satisfying the condition to release that so grace provides it faith hallmarked by your obedience releases it this is the equation of the believers work if it's not available by grace it cannot be accessible so when we partner with the word of God we are not ignoring the grace of God we are receiving it our obedience is a token of our reception it is available by grace but received through faith so when I tithe it is not the law I know that my prosperity and open heavens has been available by grace but my obedience is a proof that I'm interested in seeing it work in my life God cannot assume you are interested you, he gave you a will and your obedience is partnering with your will so working out your salvation is not the law it's called partnership it's called koinonia it is the token of your expression it is the token of your interest to God that you want to see everything in him find expression in you Zoe the life of God received by many experienced by few received by many experienced by few there are many possibilities that are enshrined in that life number one the bible tells us it's an indestructible life maybe let me finish what i started saying before we discuss a bit i was talking about certain pillars are we together the fellowship of the mystery that comes through partnership with the holy spirit number four the reality of righteousness righteousness Kenyon defines righteousness as the ability to stand before the presence of the father without a sense of inferiority condemnation and guilt um i i agree with that except for the fact that righteousness is another name given to the nature of god the very nature of god at work in a human is called righteousness not just an ability to stand that is the effect of righteousness it's not righteousness the effect of righteousness is that the possessor can now stand blameless but that's not necessarily the definition are we together now righteousness the nature of god at work in me the authorization to be able to access his spirit righteousness number three number what number five is that in christ and christ alone is dominion a possibility in christ and christ alone is dominion a possibility please understand this this dominion thing people chorus around as if they don't need god without god dominion is a mirage dominion means exercising sovereign power over situations over circumstances and over the forces of darkness write it down dominion the ability to exercise sovereign power sovereign authority over situations over circumstances and over the forces of darkness is only a possibility in christ every other thing outside christ is negotiation and pacifism not dominion are you hearing what i'm saying if a herbalist tells you he's trying to drive a demon it's not dominion through the mysteries of the kingdom he will pacify the spirit it's called occultic pacifism that's why the demon can be angry again and say the sacrifice is over so you have to renew it but dominion is exerting sovereign control anytime any day and remaining there not renewed by anything listen there is no sacrifice in the village that is done once and for all are you hearing what i'm saying everybody come on this is africa talk to me africa there is no sacrifice that is done once and for all whether you are aware or not somebody goes somewhere smuggles himself into a shrine and renews it can be per annum 
can be per two years or can be per when the gods are angry when they start manifesting the priest will now say the gods have not eaten and you are eating so people begin to die and what happens they slaughter a child or an animal and pacify that's not dominion that's negotiation that's not dominion Bishop Oedeko calls it a far above mentality that's dominion where you are in a class that potentially speaking you don't have any reason to relate with the vicissitudes here and if at any point it comes listen let me tell you something about eternal life eternal life listen carefully eternal life is not a life void of challenges but it's a life assured of complete victory now thanks be to God who always always not sometimes now thanks be to God who always causes us to triumph the next time you say that you have the life of God don't think you are saying you have a designer watch a designer shirt no you are God alone from before time began you are on your throne you are God alone and right now through the good times and bad you are on your throne you are God alone listen if I give you a millionaire's ATM and I say look for some reason for just trusting me I reward that trust by giving you an ATM potentially speaking has more money than you will need in your life this is recession so an example with money is a very fruitful one it will help people understand are we together he gives you an eight year are we together now but for some reason you have to be trained to know that that eight year is a fact that there's money inside it's a fact that potentially speaking you have access now you may move around with your friend that you used to eat with before it does not stop that the fact that you are a current possessor of that atm experiencing the possibilities someone must be introduced to your life or a document must be introduced that is a map that guides you and says stand before a machine the name is atm and you slot it and you are patient the dynamics of the operation this is where knowledge and understanding comes and you can hold that ATM forever and stand and swallow saliva in front of a shop that the ATM can buy the whole shop are we together now now you are crying to the one who gave you the ATM and he's saying I have made available so out of his love giving you the ATM is enough but he sent someone to come and guide you but that person is so gentle it will take your cooperation so he says look we created this atm it's not like they gave us we understand how this thing works and you say no 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 no. i went to school just hold on when i am difficult this is what many people do so you hold this atm for years and satan comes around and tells you this thing is only a small card and he says it's a small card put it in your pocket and you put it in your pocket and move around this is what makes Christ look weak in the life of men this is what makes the Word of God look like it is of non effect so in spite of the fact that this reality is a fact knowledge of the systems of God the provisions that have been made in place everything we do in the kingdom is not adding to what Christ has done is accessing through partnership the mysteries of the kingdom that releases those possibilities so that after five years of working with God my life should be able to reflect more of God now than it did five years ago not just in terms of finances and all of that in terms of ascendance in the spirit I should not fear five years later what I was afraid of five years before I should not be a victim five years later of what I was a victim of before. No. I prayed for a gentleman here. I believe he's here. He was in the school of ministry. He had a dream. And somebody appeared to him in the dream, punched his hand, and he woke up physically with a punch with blood. 
many years before would look at it and say hi this is a serious issue and go and shout like fools around but when i saw it i said i want to touch it zoe zoe this is not the issue of prayer there is an implication to the life i hold let my the life of god make contact with that infirmity zoe god's life possessors of divine possibilities i want you to take away take your eyes away from your challenge if you want to believe this because that's what satan will use to mock you you are a possessor of that life why are you burying five years don't mock yourself and then you say it's true uh -uh. there is still a provision because to make sure that you release this life he still gave unto some apostles and prophets look at all the provisions he put in place he gave you his life gave you his spirit gave you his word sent gifts in the body so that we are not without excuse if you fail you neglected the systems of god you neglected his life so you go to hell you neglected his word so there is no growth you neglect his spirit no direction you neglect the gift so no lifting anyone that fails in life listen to me it's not god he neglected the systems the life of god the spirit of god the word of god the gifts that he has sent just like there are people here looking at me who have never been interested in the life of god the life of God is the most superior reflection of his love and benevolence. More than giving you a pastor. More than giving you a prophet and apostle. More than giving you the Bible. More than giving you whatever it is. You have to receive them in that order. You don't receive his life. Even if you receive his prophets, you will not maximize your stay. The prophets can only assist as guided by God. They cannot impart life. A man of God can impart every other thing aside from eternal life. I can impart healing. I can impart an anointing. I can prophesy to you and your life will change. But I cannot say be born again. I can even stand before God to declare your sins forgiven. Right? In terms of the limitations that stand between you. But that is only a possibility in Christ. Please, I want you to believe this. This issue of being born again is not a choice. It's not a choice. People buy phones now. Their phones get missing and they cry for days. Because owning a phone now is almost not a choice. Let's institutionalize salvation. Let's make it part of the fabric of growth. To make it look like you don't say, okay, if you want to, you want to. You better come out. Whether you know it or not, you want to. Are we together? Eternal life what you believe about jesus is important you must believe that he came from heaven if you believe he came from israel you are not saved you are not a child of god there is a footballer called jesus he cannot save men he can play football but he cannot save men please let's clarify this loose ends quickly before we continue there are things you have to believe jesus himself said in john chapter 6 i am the bread that came from heaven he told us his location that he came from heaven you must believe that he came from heaven number two you must believe in his incarnation his incarnation is the mystery that made the world flesh the womb of the woman is that mystery the mystery that made the world the eternal word that was with God John 1 verse 1 become flesh many Christians don't know this you must believe in the incarnation not reincarnation incarnation if you believe in the reincarnation of jesus christ you are an antichrist incarnation incarnation the word became flesh number three you must believe in his humanity he didn't just come and die and went away he walked upon the earth partook of the weaknesses of men there is jesus the man he walked upon the earth the bible says he was in every way like us tempted yet without sin if you don't believe in the humanity of jesus christ you will shortchange yourself from walking in the fullness of the life of god you must believe 
in the dominion he exerted by means of the presence of the Holy Spirit in his life not by means of being Jesus the Son of God when he came upon the earth he stripped himself of his Godship and submitted himself as a model to the ministry of the Holy Spirit so every result gotten in Jesus life was not because he was Jesus it was because he was under the influence of the Spirit so that we are not without excuse the same Spirit that made Jesus the Christ is the same spirit that will make Jake the Christ is the same spirit that will make Ejimi the Christ is the same spirit that will make Joshua Selma the Christ believe in the humanity of Jesus he demonstrated the sovereign power of God flawlessly above creation above principalities and powers he demonstrated to us in his earthly life that Zoe is a possibility are we together you must believe in the passion of the Christ. Theologically speaking, the entire event that took place beginning from the upper room, the communion. Where they received the Holy Spirit was where they had the communion. Are we together? Down to the experience in Gethsemane. Down to Pontius Pilate and Herod who used Jesus as a scapegoat to become friends they were enemies but Jesus look how powerful Jesus was even before he died he reconciled enemies then you must believe in every activity the mystery of the whip for by his stripes we are healed the mystery of the crown of thorns that was put upon his head an exchange for our dominion restored you must believe in the mockery that he received you must believe in the fact that he was on his way to Golgotha, the place of skull, as an exchange for us. Jesus did not die on the road. He was hung on a tree. It was necessary that he had to be crucified. If Jesus died and it was not by crucifixion, he would not be able to take the sins of the world. There are conditions to be able to take the sins of the world number one you must become flesh number two your blood must be sinless number three you must enact a mystery that transfers the sin of men to you and that mystery is called the communion the communion is not what christians take in church the communion is a sacrament there's a theological name for it it's called the doctrine of interpenetration the mystery with which two people become one is what is used in marriage two separate entities by covenant still different personalities but one in the spirit and that is enacted through the communion john chapter 6 are you getting blessed tonight john chapter 6 let's read help us media let's read verse 35 okay just for time's sake let's run to 53 just four verses 53 to 57 john chapter 6 53 Jesus is speaking now. Then Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He's introducing them to the mystery that will make the sins of the whole world come into Him. You have to understand, it's not just that He died for us, we died in Him. So you need to find out how we entered Him. Because Galatians 2.20 says, I am or I have been crucified with Christ. Not just that He was crucified for me. Are we together? Jesus died for me. That's an act of love. I died with him. That's identification. There are two different things. It's not just enough to believe he did it for you. You must believe that you did it in him. That's why we are seated with him. But we must trace where the journey started. Verily, verily, I say unto you, except ye eat of my flesh. Listen carefully. Ye eat of the flesh of the Son of Man, and drink of his blood what will happen to you ye have no life you are living physically but you are not a possessor of my life now to eat the flesh and to drink the blood is a mystery there is a prophetic act called communion a physical prophetic act but it's a language remember Hosea chapter 10 right Hosea chapter 12 I have spoken to you by the prophets I have used similitudes similitudes is in the character of God to use similitudes what we call prophetic act a foreshadow an adumbration of something physical 
like he told Moses to lift the rod and that rod is Christ so it's in the character of God that's what I mean by the universality of his character is consistent both pre-old old New Testament post new <laughs> hallelujah 54 who so eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood hath zoe there is and I will raise him up at the last day 55 for my flesh is meat indeed now this sounds like occultism so you have to understand my flesh is meat indeed and my blood is drink indeed 56 he that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth aha he's now switching the parable for you to understand that he's not necessarily talking of physically eating he's talking about a condition of intimacy that can be likened to eating and drinking prophetically adumbrated by a physical activity to eat the blood the body and blood of jesus is not just to eat things no it is a dimension of intimacy that begins by accepting and receiving him so he says dwelleth in me and i in him eating and drinking is an adumbration of a system that gets you into christ and gets christ into you last verse as the living father had sent me now listen and i live by the father do you know what that means that means i ate and drank of the father so i now live in the father that same system that made me to live by the father it says so that he eated me shall also live by me listen are we you are intelligent now jesus is saying the father gave me his life and he called how he got that life eating and drinking and he said the same way i ate of the father's life that means i ate of his flesh i drank of his blood to have his life so also that means we must understand how did jesus receive the way number one he was born of the spirit of the father understand this he was born of the spirit of the father number two he was empowered by the spirit of the father number three he walked in obedience to the spirit of the father these three conditions translated to him eating and drinking he released the reality of the fullness of the life of god everybody look at me communion is more than bread and wine if your experience at communion stops at just eating bread and drinking wine you are carrying out a religious activity that is powerless the eating and the drinking only becomes powerful on the strength of your understanding it is your understanding that releases the life are we together that means hallelujah every day of my life i can be eating the communion when i do that i eat the communion certain things happen many of them we're going to look at it the bible says that we testify and we declare of the lord's death how do we declare of his death we died with him we are alive that means my being alive is a testament that he is alive when you understand all of these facets of this communion then you will find out you can release the possibilities that come with it healing breakthrough an invocation of the mystery of mercy i can spend all night talking about the mercy of god the mercy of god is a mystery that starts with sinners but is needed in the kingdom otherwise we will not attain that height mercy is a mystery in god that vetoes judgment in your life it has nothing to do with whether the judgment is legitimate or not the moment your life is in a situation where on legal basis the devil should prevail over you what you need is the application of the mystery of his mercy are we together remember when David took a man's wife 
are we together now david was a man who loved god he took a man's wife killed the man and when he had a man's wife a particular prophet came his pastor came and gave a parable he started with a parable and gave a parable a parable that reflected that a man bullied a man and took something and david said who is that man and he said you are the man you are the man do you know what happened the bible says immediately david repented and sought for mercy and i think it was abner his prophet he said ah the lord has shown you mercy and you will not die meaning the price for that thing was death if david did not invoke the mercy like saul he would die too so david did not become an heir to the throne and then a predecessor of jesus because of perfection the difference between him and saul was mercy there was nothing saul did that david did not do the difference was mercy mercy is only available in christ mercy is a mystery that satan cannot give mercy is a mystery that pastors they can pardon but they can't show mercy we interchange the words mercy is a mystery mercy is not to be excused mercy is that they pay for you so you enjoy the freedom but at the expense of someone else's there are few men who can show mercy they can pardon you but mercy does not take away the price it only exempts you hallelujah tenants of the christian faith unshakable foundations that will make a man remain in christ doctrine will rise and fall denomination will rise and fall technology will introduce sex and rise and fall but after many years you will still be standing let me tell you if you ever fall in your christian race it's not because satan prevailed over you it's because your foundation was shaking when you don't know what you believe that make up your conviction the day you meet with somebody who is an intelligent professor who studied Scientology he will sit with you and use quantum physics to wash away your intelligence and make you look at Jesus and say I never knew you were you were um, Buddha's mate it's just that you came ahead of him every religion acknowledges Jesus but what you acknowledge him as makes the difference you acknowledge Jesus Christ as a carpenter's son it is true but you are still going to hell are we together now yes I believe in him and this is what I believe about him this is what the devil when he comes to your life he probes the dimensions of your convictions satan is not a fool he doesn't come to attack men when he came to jesus he started throwing questions the questions were testing how far and he found out ah every dimension there was a word basis that word did not come by mistake he went to the temple from age 12 he had been learning he had been building when satan comes to your life he will begin to throw issues around your life to find what dimension of spiritual reality has not become spirit and life to you that becomes his access point to your life satan cometh to me so he will come to everybody but he did not find meaning there is a possibility that he can find listen let me tell you something brothers and sisters you need to sustain an orientation in the spirit that defies every assault of darkness for instance the bible says while we look not at the things that are unseen but the things that are seen so if the devil wants to manipulate your senses to make you look like if you are truly in christ don't mind this stupid joshua selman and what he's saying if he's really in christ why is a and b and c happening the happening in your life does not change the fact that his life is in you Our eternal destinies are determined by the, whether or not we are possessors of that life. But the qualities of our lives on earth are dependent on the extent of our partnership through faith with the Holy Spirit. 
in order to release those lives so if i look at a man's life and his life demonstrates a dimension of spiritual possibility that is not in my life aside from other factors like the election of grace and other things it must mean therefore that there is a dimension of partnership he has sustained with the holy spirit that i've not been able to come into it that's why a family can have five people their father can be a pastor but the extent of their results will differ are we together now listen when jesus walked upon the earth he was very specific with his actions he intended for certain things to be understood about his work on earth that's why he had to reveal himself to paul to document these mysteries although the disciples saw him when he resurrected he still was with them 40 days and then left them 10 days in the upper room to receive the holy spirit but even in the midst of that he still had to anoint a man paul of tarsus saul who later became paul to be able to articulate the mysteries paul calls it the fellowship of the mystery the fellowship of the mystery the bible tells us in the book of ephesians 1 2 3 that we are alienated from the life of god through ignorance alienated from the life are we together now not experientially walking in the fullness of that life listen tonight as we prepare to receive the communion i want you to come to terms with certain things number one you must have the brokenness and the unashamedness to admit that if there is anything in your life that is yet to reflect the fullness of Christ it is not because of a limitation posed by God it is that there is a dimension of partnership with the Holy Spirit are we together that has not yet begun or has not yet come to fruition for you to experience that dimension you are only authorized to receive results if you can maintain that posture that my life and your life today is not a reflection of who God is but a reflection of how far we have chosen to walk with him it's an uncomfortable truth but victory starts from that standpoint either he lied or there's something wrong on our own part are we together so if there are witches appearing every night destroying your life you sleep and somebody appears now listen let me balance something to deny the existence of that possibility is another dimension of foolishness this is what sometimes we preachers do we say it does not exist no it exists you can only be exempted you can't stop it satan still has authority over the systems he's still the prince of the power of air he's called a prince the spirit that walketh in the sons of disobedience for a season he's still allowed what happened is that god created a mystery that exempts you causes are real they are still at work yokes are real they are still at work they will still attempt you and until your knowledge bails you out knowledge of what the systems of the kingdom bails you out you will still be a victim of them so when you come to me as a man of god and say sir somebody came in the night and slept with me i said that's nonsense no you are not being accurate you may have ascended a level of understanding that exempts you from that experience but to deny the existence of that thing is a joke what i can do is i can introduce to you what christ gave to conquer it hallelujah you have won the victory lift your voice and sing unto him hallelujah you have won You are the risen King. You're seated in majesty. Seated in majesty. You are the risen King. You are the risen King. My life 
and my experiences are too small to limit everything God said about Zoe. If I live my life today dying of sickness, dying of failure, my life cannot be a model enough to say this is all that is contained in God. And I must have the unashamedness to admit that my limitations are not caused by the inability of God to produce that result. It's been encapsulated in Zoe. It should be a challenge for me that there is a dimension of understanding through the ministry of the word, the ministry of the spirit, and the ministry of his body. We are members of his body, not just his spirit. We are part of the body. And the body as an entity holds possibilities. So I can love Jesus Christ, but I may not have been taught that part of his system is the introduction of apostles and prophets that can speak over your life. That can make me walk barren of the possibilities of God. But when I study through the word that there is a provision made like that, then I can align myself to that provision and now begin to walk in a new reality. Tonight is a night of brutal admittance. We have to come to a point where we admit that, listen, my father has not gotten a job for 20 years. My mother has not gotten a job for 20 years. It is not because God cannot release jobs. It is because there may be a dimension. Either they have refused to receive his life, partner with the spirit, understand his word, or discern his body. These are the causes. These are the things that are responsible for the limitations of people. So what we are doing tonight is not why you will be healed. What you are understanding now is why you will be healed. This understanding is what gives life to the wafers. The person who made the wine you are about to drink may be somewhere. You bought the wine. He was doing business. The person who made the wafers you are about to eat, he may even be an unbeliever. He just had that Christians eat this thing often. And he said, this is a stream of income and produced it. So you are eating somebody's value. You are not eating power. It is your understanding that translates that mystery. Like water turned to wine. Between the water and the wine was a word. When a word came, it turned the water to wine. It is that word, that understanding that will turn bread to his body. And the drink to his blood. Color does not matter. Whether the color is green or blue. It's only red to affect your psychology even if this is what you take it is your understanding in the kingdom power is released through understanding not just motion you tie it, it is not the money that brings the power is the understanding that gives life to the activity that's why jesus said this is how you will build and the gates of hell will not prevail upon this rock the rock is not peter the rock is a system upon this formula you will build never speak outside of understanding so the system is that you first understand then you act when you act out of understanding you are building upon a rock when you act void of understanding you are building upon sand the sons of skiva showed us a graphic example of that they spoke but there was no understanding and he said jesus i know he built upon a rock paul i know he built upon a rock but you are just speaking that means you come and eat because you heard that bishop oyedeko blessed communion and people took it and all of a sudden people were vomiting animals and then you take it and as soon as you take it as you are getting home the same spirit comes again because it's not the ritual the understanding is where the power lies so paul i repeat ephesians 1 for this cause it's not enough that you have received the way for this cause i have to go the extra mile to bow my knees to the father of our lord jesus christ that he may grant unto you that the holy spirit may reveal himself unto you as the spirit of wisdom and understanding so that you will know epignosis come into an understanding not awareness come into an experience where you and the information has become one when you understand this then you take that step and you find out that life is now released some of you because of this you will not even be able to hold the communion cup because you are now holding it now with understanding the demon that oppresses you has seen the light 
understanding gives life to the symbol remember the entrance of thy word giveth light and understanding when that light comes that's what releases the power ordinarily you would have carried it and eaten and said can i take another one you see why paul rebuked the church in corinth they were not discerning the lord's body a time came when many of them started using the communion for alcoholism because they did not have a system of preserving this thing so they looked forward to communion services communion will always remain and then they didn't just take a little this thing this is just for social reasons and then to guide people financially but then you could have a big cup and fetch so there were people who would fetch and go and hide somewhere they didn't believe in jesus and they would drink and paul found out they were getting tipsy in the middle of an outpouring and paul said no you people should come we need bible study something is wrong you guys if you are hungry that's what paul said if you are hungry do what go and eat in your house don't come to the lord's house and violate his temple by eating he said for this cause this is it for not discerning for acting foolishly out of understanding many are weak many are sick many do sleep when was the last time you saw written in the grave of a man that he died because he didn't discern the lost body they say he died of cardiac failure for this cause so if i want to improve my life it's not all up to god the way is at work it's been available by grace but my partnership i must check the systems i'm ignoring i am ignoring the life of god like some of you are doing looking at me now not born again when you see people talk about get born again, say, forget about them jerry they're just hopeless people after all so 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 sociology said religion is the opium of the masses that guy may probably be in hell now be careful are we together now hmm don't 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 listen to junks you can write it and pass your exams but when it comes to your eternal destiny you must be serious you have rejected his life or you have rejected the ministry of his spirit you have rejected the ministry of his word you have rejected the ministry of his body these are the provisions made i want to ask you a question tonight which one have you rejected you can easily know it by looking at your life you have insulted every man of god you know by saying look forget it i insult every man of god we can all go to christ you have accepted christ you may have accepted his word but you have rejected his body there is a consequence a bitter one they are taken for a prey and none say it restore the bible tells us that there is a system with which god built his ecclesia the church he said christ is the chief cornerstone immediately you meet christ he introduced two ministries called the apostles and the prophets they are the foundations of the church if you do not meet them your building cannot grow the cornerstone is there you ignore them you build nonsense it's a system it's an election of grace which one have you ignored some of you have ignored have supposedly admitted the ministry of the holy spirit you like power you don't doubt even if somebody jumps up and hangs in the air you like it but you have ignored the ministry of the word thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path that illumination that comes through his word you have pay attention to what i'm teaching tonight you have ignored that boundary of revelation and you will find out that there will be a lot of charismatism around your life and you will know which one is witchcraft and which one is of god because there is no compass there is no the word of god is like a buffer solution it defines the dimensions of the operations of the holy spirit so when you are going out of it the word of god guides you and says no every manifestation must be consistent with the character of god there are people who have embraced supposedly the ministry of the word the bible calls them men who have come around the baptism of john and ignored the ministry of the holy spirit acts 19 remember have you received the holy ghost since you believed verse 1 and verse 2 they says we have not even heard whether there be any holy ghost and paul was surprised they were believers disciples 
going through Bible study. He said, unto what then were you baptized? They said, the baptism of John. And Paul said, no. The baptism of John was a baptism of repentance. To the end that they should believe on he that should come, even Jesus Christ. And when they had it, the Bible says they were baptized in the name of the Lord. And Paul laying his hands on them, they now received the ministry of the Spirit of God. Right? They prayed in tongues and prophesied. The Bible says there were about 12 of them. Acts chapter 19, 1 to 5. Thank you very much. So it is possible to believe the Bible just because you inherited it from your pastor but not walk with the Spirit. Jesus died to make all these systems available. His life in us exclusively given through the office of the Christ but released by the interaction of that believer with the Spirit of God, the Word of God, the body we teach a lot about the word of god we teach a lot about the spirit of god but we ignore his body christ is the head he's not a head moving around that head has a body and he acknowledges that the body is part of himself and then in another mystery he calls that body his wife you don't ignore a man's wife and leave, and then he will laugh with you the bible said jealousy is the rage of a man so as you insult his wife simply because the wife is wounded are we together if a jimmy's wife has an injury and you say because of that she's no longer a woman a jimmy will stand close to her first before he will give you a slap you say by this little act let me prove to you that when i said i do i meant it i also said i mean it so the man of god may not be perfect but he's still part of the system when you criticize him you are criticizing somebody's wife and that man will react are you hearing what i'm saying for this cause i've taught it here go and get the teaching on the body of christ i told you the mystery of receiving from the body of christ was adumbrated in the parable of samson samson went to the philistines and he gave them a riddle he said out of something weak came something strong and they could not decipher the parable he killed a lion and then bees did not know where to go and put honey they went to a carcass and put honey there meaning if you must enjoy the honey you can endure the smell so you come to a man of god who is temperous but look beyond the temper there is an anointing there is always honey in the midst of the carcass this is the mystery of discerning the body you have to ignore the limitations that are in people so if the pastor does not look like you you may see him a yopi person and babs as if is is some of these touts around this these vegas guys he may be that may not be the best but the truth of the matter is that he may be anointed the woman may dress and she may be careless you know like i was teaching a school of ministry students yesterday and i told him i went for a program and there was a woman of god who was introducing something and kai i'm not somebody who talks about dressing but mm -mm, even till today it's too much it's, it's not it's not she didn't leave anything to the imagination very bad for a congregation very bad for a congregation i say it again very bad for a congregation anyway it happened but the fact remains that the woman was very anointed can you endure the smell because the honey is there it's a mystery how the bees endure the smell to pitch it there there is this treasure let me give you the new testament translation that treasure is hidden in the bible didn't say in vessels in earthen vessels so you may not like me as a person but why don't you look beyond the limitation and see that there is a treasure that's why there is no church that cannot bless me if you search for jesus you will find him i've ministered in all kinds of places i remember when we we're coming back from ekiti when we met some of the, 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 the men of God that prayed for us, Pastor Jake, they could not speak Yoruba. That's enough to annoy me. Say, what is all this? I'm the one who needs the miracle. I need long life. That Baba cannot speak English, but he's walking in an experience of a reality. What do you think we did? We looked for an interpreter. There has to be an interpreter. We found an interpreter who came, and the man said we should kneel down. Now, I have received Jesus Christ I am walking in partnership with his spirit I have received of the word but I discern his body 
I would have said I'm a man of God. I, I was going for a crusade. It was a powerful crusade. Mighty miracles. And on the way we stopped. And the man didn't even say you are pastors. Say kneel down. First. Really that's what he said. And in Yoruba he was just praying. I didn't hear one thing he said. But all I know is that that man was long. He was living long enough for me to cover that grace. Which part of God's systems have you ignored? Please hear this message tonight. Is the answer to the prayer. That demon that has oppressed you. You have quoted scripture. That's very good. It's true that you are working with the Holy Spirit. But your knowledge is limited. But there is still out of his benevolence. He has kept an anointing with a vessel. One word. Go. Will set you free of 10 years of limitations. But we will refuse. And say look. I know Jesus Christ by myself. So you limit God's possibilities. To only the revelation that the Holy Spirit and the word is permitted through your willingness and sometimes your lifetime may not afford you the dimension of revelation it takes for the result you need so you must tap into every channel that's what he meant when he told Nicodemus you must be born of the water and the spirit otherwise you cannot enter you can see it but you will not enter seeing the kingdom is that it has come to you but entering it is becoming a testament of the reality so you can now say since i was young now i am old i have never seen the righteous forsaken no that thing was not a poem to be recited by everyone it was a man's testimony based on a dimension of possibility you have to make it yours before you speak otherwise you will keep mocking yourself this is what these unguided confessions that are not out of understanding will keep mocking us if ye are abraham's children you will do the works of abraham what was his work he believed god god told him something god said abraham i want to introduce a dimension to you i have not done to anybody and abraham believed god tonight is easter all over the world there are cathedrals there are ministries there are crusades packed full with the over two billion christians on earth attempting men of god there are tapes rolling all over churches right now every man of god attempting sincerely to reveal something that the people can take back about easter i brought to you a reality the bible says this is the record it was documented god has given us eternal life but this life is in his son and whosoever has the son has that life but grace and peace be multiplied to you through knowledge according as his divine power hath not will hath is a fact giving us giving us giving us every limitation in my life and your life is a revelation of something about the systems of God we have ignored or are still learning and have not come into that fullness when you know that you put an urgency to your pursuit for God for the more I know you the more I want to know you Jesus more of you for the more I see your face the more I want to see Jesus, more of you. Shortly, we are going to take the communion. Please, those relevant people, let's station them. There are three mysteries that the Lord revealed to me that will be open to us tonight as we partake of the communion. Three. Number one. The communion tonight is an encounter with the spirit of revelation. We need revelation in our lives. We need revelations in our lives. Brothers and sisters, please hear me. We need revelation in our lives. The limitation of my life and your life is not dependent on Satan. It's dependent on how far I can access the dimensions of the possibilities that the life of God can provide. 
based on the knowledge that I have. His life only gives you potentials. Your partnership, accurate partnership, makes it an experience. Tonight, as you partake of this, let something boil in you that all men are equal in Christ, but they are not equal in possibilities. Our possibilities are determined by the truths we have chosen to receive and the dimensions of the systems of the kingdom we have comprehended. And so we must press. Hear what Paul says. He says, this one thing I do, forgetting the things that are behind, there is something I need to know about death to stop being afraid of it. There is something I need to know about poverty. There is something I need to know about restoration. There is something I need to know about fruitfulness. The love of God is revealed when we study his systems. The Bible says the invisible things of God, right? The invisible things are seen they are learned they are taught by the things that appear so i look at and say what what kind of a man is this that grants me access to his life sends his spirit to me causes men moved by the same spirit to document more information the apostles did not have a bible all they had was the torah right the Pentateuch, the five books of Moses. But now God has gone the extra mile for our generation because he knows evil and wickedness will increase. And he has left a document to still help us. And then in addition to that, he has empowered men and women in the body so that we are not without excuse. And what a joy the Lord has spoken to us this year that is our year of triumph. That means we can work with these systems of the kingdom and rise. When I was studying, I was just studying the passion of the Christ tonight and I was so touched looking at everything Jesus went through. Just for me. Just for me. Jesus came and did it just for me. Just for me. Just for me, Jesus came and did it just for me. That's what he did tonight. Well, the cross will always represent the love God had for me. When the Lord of glory heaven sent. Gave all on Calvary just for me, he just for me. Jesus came and did just for me. So, what is the implication of tonight? I remember, I remember his sacrifice while he was on the way to Golgotha. The Bible says that there were certain things in the mind of God and Paul was given access to those things. They were encapsulated in a document and Paul calls it a testament. And then Hebrews chapter 9, Paul is speaking, Pastor Alpha read it there. Jesus knew that those things would be activated only at his death. So they were prepared. And when he died, there was still ignorance and he started moving through holy men to document these things to say now you have access i have died for every will is not yet activated until the death of the testator jesus died if he did not die eternal life will not be a reality he hung on that cross between two thieves a 33 and a half year old man naked there was no covering no he was naked and he looked at the world that he came to die for and the people yelled crucify him let his blood be on our children they were prophesying something that would really happen because his blood had to be on their children for them to be saved what was a statement of war was a prophecy let his blood be upon our children they didn't know that was why he was on the cross 
they mocked him let me tell you something Jesus did not go to the cross as Jesus he went to the cross as me and you when he stood there he saw me he saw Joshua Selman he saw Koinonia remember Acts chapter 2 they were caught in their heart and they said men and brethren what do we do he said repent for the remission of your sins and you shall receive that promise for the promise is unto you and unto your children and to your children's children he says as many as are afar off which the Lord will call this is where we came in in Acts chapter 10 reading from verse 38 down to 44 the Bible says the moment the Holy Ghost fell on all they that had him day of the circumcision the Jews said ah I perceive truly we now see that God is no respecter of persons but that in every nation whoever calls upon his name will be saved tonight we are taking the communion number one access to the spirit of revelation according to Ephesians chapter 1 verse 17 I bow my knees and I pray for you O church of the Lord Jesus Christ that I desire you to release the reality of Zoe that life that is indestructible that life that is far above principalities and powers the life that is capable of demonstrating dominion here and now the life that is characterized by victory the life of meaning the life of fulfillment the life of purpose but it's access through knowledge the spirit of revelation number two the second thing that the communion will release to us tonight is reenacting that covenant of life through that prophetic act that we are going to be doing the bible says he that eateth of my flesh and drinketh of my blood hath my life do you know what that means there are many things at work in your life now that were not sponsored by that eternal life watch this my body as designed by God is supposed to grow through a system there should be a symmetry and a synergy correct if a boil starts coming out from here that boil is growing not at the same pace with my body now biologically they can say something is responsible but spiritually we know that another life is responsible so the result of that another life I see it different from my body so what you do is by the mystery of the communion you are taking it to your physical body physical flesh and blood it's a mystery that reminds the devil that every part of you was handed over to Christ that means whatever is not a derivative of the life of God put it scripturally every tree that was not planted by my father meaning there are other farmers are we together there are other what farmers for instance while men slept an enemy he's a farmer the bible says he came and sowed he's a farmer and left whether that sleep is a spiritual sleep psychological sleep as a result of the weight of the vicissitudes of life fatigue several things happening in your life and you did not know and it weighed you down or as a result of real physical sleep the activities of darkness listen as you take this I want you to discern the Lord's body don't just to discern the Lord's body is not to eat slowly to discern the Lord's body is to take it with understanding it's not that you close your eyes you take it slowly no 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 that is religion to discern the Lord's body is that as you are taking this truly speaking this is wafers this is wine but the, my understanding authorizes the Holy Spirit to form an eclipse between that that activity that dinner thing and me and as I lift it is the same thing as the servants who were carrying water while they lifted it the distance between his word and your mouth causes a miracle to happen this is what will make somebody hold it and just the distance from the table to your mouth you can't stand it and anointing responding to your understanding that's why somebody can take the communion and all of a sudden you feel you just took something small that 
before it got to your stomach a lot of itself was hanging around different parts of your body but all of a sudden you take it and you are already feeling fire on your leg did that thing get to your leg it's a mystery you only gave him space tonight can your communion be a body that you have prepared for him we have prepared a body remember a body has thou prepared without a body he cannot move so the communion just like the human body can become the body tonight that communion can be the hand that heals you tonight that communion can be the mystery that destroys the devourer for your non tithing and God can say I give you a clean slate start again tonight that communion can be a reversal of several things if you take it with understanding are we together so we are going to pray but before we pray overflow one overflow two by the road those online from any nation and any place you are listening to the first key is to receive the life of God Zoe the life of God is not Christianity Christianity was a description given to possessors of that life God is not initiating you into a religion he says come on to me listen there are people seated here looking at me inside and outside you are tired and you're saying apostle as I stand right now sincerely I don't even know what my life is about I have tried like the worship team sang I've done everything but tonight I am in all humility lifting my heart and my hands and saying I need that life my father refused to receive the life my mother refused to receive the life my brothers and sisters refused to receive the life I choose to receive that life and there are yet others who may say at one point I came for an altar call but sincerely I don't know the name of what I did I only know that they said congratulations and they gave me hamper I ate what was inside but nothing entered me and this night I want to eat of my the bread he said my bread is my body is meat indeed for in the sanctuary God is near. oh come lay down the burdens you have carried for in the sanctuary God is here. Wherever you are, just wait till I start counting before you come. I'm going to count one to five because of time. There are people here who are saying, Apostle, as I sat listening to you, I knew that I had to be sincere with myself. And I knew that I have to win this war my life does not reflect Zoe in any way number one I have not even received it every time I hear preachers talk like Saul of Tarsus I mock them and I say they are wasting my time but tonight I want to win that war and number two there are others who said well I know that I came and confessed something for a while I was even walking with God but sincerely I know between me and God right now that I'm not serious with him and I don't want any pretense again wherever you are the Holy Spirit is already speaking to you overflow one two wherever you are I want you to make your way here I would have asked you to go to the overflow outside but there is a reason why I want all of you here so as I count one to five there are people there I want you to run like there's fire on the mountain leave your seat and come out here right now if you are ashamed of your friend you are ashamed of your brother you are ashamed of your sister then you are wasting the mystery of easter start coming one god bless you leave your seat and come don't be ashamed clap for them koinonia appreciate them as they come god bless you keep coming that flows from help me see emmanuel's faith Lose all their guilty strength. The third mystery that
that you will receive tonight from the communion is an empowerment for a strange order of dominion please don't forget these three things don't forget these three things number one access to the spirit of revelation number two an exit of everything that was not planted by God there will be mighty mighty miracles and deliverances as you take this number three an empowerment for a strange order of dominion the centurion said for I am a man under authority I say unto one go and he goeth I say unto another come and he cometh speak the word only the Bible says where the word of a king is there is power that as you partake of this communion something will come upon you the Bible says that when you take it right first Corinthians 11 when you take it that you announce you declare the Lord's death the meaning of that is that you tell principalities and powers that the person you used to know is not the person now Jesus died and I died in him and now the life that I live I live by the faith of the Son of God another system so way God's life now this is what we are going to do I'm going to give you two prayer points we are going to pray seriously and um, everyone outside you don't have to come there are the first overflow at the projector there is a provision like this the second overflow at the projector there is a provision like this and then in here we did it because of time now this is all you are going to do those here you would come this way just take the cup and the bread drop the cup there and march this way those here you will do the same thing and then I think there will be a provision here at the minister stand so that we don't have chaotic things please some of you will fall under the anointing as you do it just be careful and let's just coordinate them I want to pray and bless this now and then we are going to pray the moment you partake of it you go back and find a corner and begin to blast in tongues and pray these three things in your life that's happy stuff for you you have to pray it with all your heart and say Lord I understand this mystery let my understanding permit the life of God to find expression prayer point number one Lord I believe I believe but in case I do not believe help my own belief lift your voice and pray whatever is not of faith is sin lift your voice and pray pray inside and outside pray inside and outside Are you praying? Help my own belief. Emmanuel. 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 Your name is called. Emmanuel. Your name is called Emmanuel, Emmanuel, Emmanuel. point number two Lord as I partake of this let the mystery of the communion be enacted in me whatever this represents I permit it to work in me lift your voice and pray seriously inside outside those online get bread and get wine or water get something that represents the communion Shabra 
la voz sobre buscar Aleluya. Aleluya. Please listen. I want to pray for the communion. 1 Corinthians 11 from verse 23. The apostle is speaking and he says, For I have received of the Lord that which I also delivered unto you. That the Lord Jesus, listen, that same night which was betrayed took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. 25. After the same manner, he also took the cup. Listen, are you seeing the order? So you take the bread, then you take the cup. He took bread and said, eat. Then he took the cup. And he says, this is my blood of the New Testament. Do this as often. And then he says, 26. For as often as he eats this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he comes. Now he says, for this cause, verse 30, many are weak for not partaking of this with understanding many are weak many are sick and many among you sleep meaning if i partake of it with understanding among other things it should destroy weakness it should destroy sickness and it should destroy death that's the next prayer point lord weakness sickness and the plague of death any kind of death it lives my life now. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Victory. Victory. Over sickness, weakness, death. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, please agree with me. I want to pray. I tell you, I sense such a strong anointing in this place. I'm praying here at the projector stand everywhere. Those online, regardless of any nation, just go and get something. Water, wafers, food, whatever. It's just a token. Who can stand against the Lord? No one can. No one will. Who can stand against our King? No one can. No one will. Oh. Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ father tonight I stretch my hands prophetically in the name of Jesus Christ upon this communion this is ordinary wine and wafers but Lord we command it to lose its earthly significance now and take on a heavenly significance and lord i pray using this as a point of contact to every other communion set around the world connected to us now i decree and declare that this becomes a type and a shadow a similitude of the body of jesus a similitude of the bread the blood of Jesus Christ and Lord I pray that as we partake tonight we access the spirit of revelation as we partake tonight every stranger in our life must go immediately and Lord as we partake tonight fresh fire for dominion and triumph in the name of Jesus 
therefore Lord we declare this blessed we call it blessed right now I put the word of God upon it and I declare that it will produce miracles in the name of Jesus God bless you please start coming start coming quickly worship him help us let's just have some people come and stand open it up and then Victory belongs to him. Victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to him. Victory belongs to Jesus. Victory belongs to him. Victory belongs to Jesus.
is no other name like Jesus. There is no other name. No, no, no. There is no other name like Jesus. There is no other name. No, no, no. There is no other name like Jesus. Please, there quickly, is no quickly, other quickly, name. Quickly. No, quickly, no, no. There is no other name. Jesus. There is no other name. What is wrong here? Why are there no people coming? Please, quickly, if you are coming, ushers coordinate them, protocol coordinate them, please. There's a lot to do. If you are coming, double up, please, quickly, quickly, quickly. Let's save time. Ha! Like Jesus, are you praying? There the is spirit? no other name. Are you no, praying? No, the spirit? No. There is no other name. Like Jesus, there is no other name. No, no, there is no other name. Like Jesus, there is no other name. No, 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 there is no other name. Like Jesus, there is no other name. No, 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 there is no other name. You are the only living God. Yes, you are. You are the only living God. I say you are the only living God. Yes, you are. You are the only living God. Say. You are the only living God. And you are the only living God. Yes, you are. You are the only living God. I say you are the only living God. Yes, you are. You are the only living God. Hey. I say you are the only. Living God, yes you are. You are the only living God. Hey, I say you are the only living God, yes you are. You are the only living God. I say you are the only living God, yes you are. You are the only living God. I say you are the only living God, yes you are. You are the only living God. We praise you. 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 We praise you, 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 we love 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 you, God, yes you are. You are the only living God. Hey, you are the only living God. Yes you are. You are the only living God. You are the only living God. Yes you are. You are the only living God. I say you are the only living God. Yes you are. You are the only living God. Hey, I say you are the only living God. Yes you are. You are the only. You are the only living God, yes you are. You are the only living God. Hey, you are the only living God, yes you are. You are the only living God. I say you are the only living God, yes you are. You are the only living God. We praise you. 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 We praise, we praise you. We praise you. We love 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 you. 
you. I know 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 you. You are the Lord. Let your name be glorified. You are the Lord, let your name be glorified. You are the Lord, oh. you are the Lord. let your name let be glorified. Name be you, are you are the Lord, let your name be glorified. I say, You are the Lord, let your name be glorified. I say, You are the Lord, let your name.
you know be mad, oh. You know be mad. Now you be God, oh. Now you be God. Almighty God. Almighty God. You know be mad, oh. You know Hallelujah. Lift your hand. Something is happening to you. Something serious is happening in your spirit. Lift your hands. You reign, you ancient Zion's king, Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. Break forth, thou fountains of the deep, and we, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. Hallelujah. Right now in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, I command a baptism. You have taken something in your body of the spirit of revelation. One, two, three. Take it. Take it. That fire upon you. Illumination. By the mystery of communion. Step into a new dimension of light, of illumination. I command your spirit man to comprehend with all the sense, the length, the breadth, the height, the depth. I call your spirit man rise higher, a higher dimension, a higher dimension, a higher dimension. Mantles are falling here tonight. Mantles are falling here tonight. Mother kinds are rising from the gates of the church. The poor are rising from the gates of the church. For the kings to be born, for revival to be born, for revival to be born. For the king, now listen to me. Any stranger in anyone's body now, whether by covenant, whether by sickness, right now as I speak, let the mystery of the communion speak now. I command judgment, every sickness, blood disease, covenants, right now, every tree not planted, help that lady, by my father. Let it go now. Let it go now. Terminal diseases, yokes of delay, limitations. I command it to give way right now. I 
I tell you, there is a strong impartation in this place. Oh God, turn again my captivity like the streams of the naked. Lift your voice and cry. Believe me, brothers and sisters, when you pray, God hears you. Turn again the captivity. Man Hallelujah. I like you to begin to mention by faith the things that must live your life this night, not tomorrow. Open your mouth and pray. Go ahead. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Someone sent a few weeks ago, someone sent a very humbling text message. Please help those under the anointing there. A few weeks ago, someone sent a very humbling text message to my phone. Out of seven graduates, nobody has ever been called for employment. Not even, not, I'm not talking of. I said interview seven graduates no one called for interview and the gentleman according to what he sent me he said he went to bed in the night to sleep and he just slept and that's what he said he said he saw me in the dream I came and I prophesied it was like a koinonia service I laid hands on him and I mentioned the name of an organization that will call him true story he said he woke up physically with an alert from that organization to come for an interview now I don't know whether or not they have given him the job I don't know that part but that's God at work from a dream prophecy you wake up physically with the alert you didn't apply ah. listen listen don't let men fool you this God, ba, let me tell you, when God decides to help you, don't tell him how he would do it. Your ways, his ways are higher, higher than our ways. His thoughts, higher than our thoughts. When, when you see, it's an act of faith to let God choose how to surprise you. Yours is to place a demand on his integrity by faith and let him choose how to rise and bless you. You may be asking God for a cup of tea whereas he's coming with a hamper for you. Lord, one cup of tea and I'm grateful. And God says, no, if I give you a cup of tea, man can also give you. Let me come with a hamper in a way that you will know this is me. Are we together? Three things I want to tell you. We'll pray one more time. Number one, God can act very fast. He looks slow until he rises from his throne to help you listen to what i'm telling you don't get used to the fact that just because sometimes it looks like god is too slow god can act mysteriously fast i was watching a documentary i like watching documentaries 
um, and on, on a, a, a National Geographic channel, and then they were showing how these animals, all these, these sea mammals, how they eat one another. And sometimes with lightning speed, a giant creature can, in fractions of a second, just dissect another animal. And I said, wow. So don't be deceived by the weight. That it is a giant creature doesn't mean it is slow. That your God is mighty. That heaven is his throne and the earth is his full stool. Doesn't mean it would take him 10 years to bend down to touch you. He can touch you from his throne and you will feel it from the earth. God. We are talking God here. Number one, God can act fast. So that you don't limit God and say, Lord, I know you will act, but um, no problem. No. Number two, listen very carefully. God can surpass your wildest imagination. Now, it's difficult to understand, but you must believe it. God can surpass your wildest imagination. He can. He can. So that it's good that you bring your petitions before him but that you allow your faith to expand to the capacity that can receive everything that God decides to give you. And then number three, Satan and all the limitations that stand before you, listen carefully, have been defeated, not will be defeated, have been defeated. What happens in a service like this is an establishing of that victory. It's difficult to understand but you must believe this because the reality of our circumstances will not allow us to believe this is a fact. But it's true because it came from the mouth of God himself. That it is finished verdict is what we have come to enforce. So that you don't stand and look at the limitation that stands before you. And now begin to ask yourself questions. But how will God do this? Promise, how is God going to do this? If God does it this way, there's already a blockage here. If God follows this way, it will have to be five years before it happens. If God uses this method, my uncle already hates me. And God says, you only gave me three methods. I have methods as infinite as my names. I can use anything. I can use a fish to give you coins. I can use a donkey to speak to you. I can use a bird to bring you bread. It doesn't always have to be men. It just has to be material bodies. I can use anything. Are we together? So tonight as we pray, why are we here? You have to understand. Number one, we are here. We are here to clear the way. The forces, remember... There will always be forces that contend against the word of God. We are here to challenge them. Because most times those forces stand our way. They contend with prophecy. When the force that stands against your destiny is cleared away, you will be surprised how sometimes within minutes your testimony comes. Number two, we are here to allow the anointing of the Holy Spirit to produce possibilities in our lives. The anointing of the Holy Spirit is his force, is his instrument for producing change. He creates by his anointing. It is his word, but that word must be anointed. Are we together now? The word of God without an anointing on it for 30 years could not heal anybody, could not bless anybody. The word just roamed around the streets of Nazareth. But when the word became anointed, it became Christos, the anointed. So the word of God is coming to your life. I want you to be very sensitive. Whether it is the prophetic word. Whether it is an instruction to pray. Whether it is the deliverance session. Don't just watch people fall and roll and do all of that. Let your heart connect. Be angry. There is an obstacle for sure. You go to bed in the night and all kinds of strange spirits molest you. You get up and say it's alright. How can it be alright? If it's alright, who invited them to your life? Good things about to happen to you all of a sudden. Your enemies reach your destiny helpers before you. And they give a bad word that closes your door. Recycles your pain again. Then for many of us, what you need is that the anointing of the Holy Spirit will call forth the men, the men component. God helps by bringing men. 
God can agree with you, men can disagree, you will still suffer. God agreed for David to become king. Samuel refused. David remained in the wilderness until Samuel agreed. Men can stop your breakthrough. It's not just demons. Men can stop your breakthrough. And not all men are castable. There are men who are gates, even though they are hedonistic. God doesn't cast them. He gives you access to their heart. When a man's ways pleases the Lord, he makes even his enemies. There are some enemies you can't drive because they are still gates. Are we together? Lord, I'm ready for you tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Please pray. Lord, I'm ready for you. This is my family. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah, glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father, you are seated on the throne. Hallelujah, say hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah.
Alleluia. Now let me do the singing. I'm going to sing this song once. I want those who are under the anointing while I sing. This instruction God is giving me. This same song. You guys have done your good music. Let me prophesy now with it. You'll be surprised to see what will happen. In here, outside, as I'm singing this song. If that anointing finds you, as you come out here, begin to rejoice. Because it is strange breakthrough. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bring them out. Shabalakato Sabadasiata. Hallelujah. Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. 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 No power can stand it. Glory to the Father. The forces must let you go. Hey, hallelujah. There's authority in the song that I'm singing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to my Father. You are seated on the throne. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Father. They are leaving you now. They are leaving you now. I'm speaking by the Spirit. They are leaving you now. There are chains over you leaving now. There are chains leaving you now. I'm ministering by the Spirit. There are chains are leaving you now. Even the lawful captives. Kabarakatos. Chains. I'm seeing chains breaking from the hands of men. Chains. Be broken. The worship team already prepared our hearts. I command the chains to be broken. By the authority of this kingdom. Be broken. Shabarakatos. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. I'm commanding chains to break. Bring them out. The anointing of the Spirit is breaking chains. Overflow one, two, three online. Chains. Chains of captivity. All kinds of bondages. Every force of darkness. It's time for you to go. It's time for you to go. Release their destinies. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to the Father. You are seated on the throne. Now listen, God is giving me an instruction. Hold on. If there is any power associated with your family, 
you will know now by the fire that falls on you this is what the lord is telling me i'm about to pray that if there is anything that is demonic responsible for the challenge of your family get ready now because i see a wind of fire moving from this place right there outside i declare it by the power of the holy spirit let the fire of the spirit visit men and women and families now hold on listen i'm still praying listen to me the bible says that paul was at a place it was cold in the night and they put wood together when they said the, a viper was there but it could not be seen but when they set fire on the wood the fire exposed the viper i declare shabbatos katadia by the fire of the spirit by the fire of the holy ghost every viper hiding in any family hiding in any destiny be exposed now be exposed now be exposed now be exposed now every viper every snake scorpion hallelujah glory to the lamb glory to the father who was seated on the throne hallelujah glory to the lamb glory to the father you are seated on the throne hallelujah glory to the lamb glory to the father you are seated on the Where are the forces fighting your advancement? Forces fighting men's advancement. The Lord is judging them now. Judging them now. Judging them now. It's time for you to move forward. I command judgment on the forces fighting your advancement i command judgment on the forces fighting your advancement overflow one lift your hands please everyone in overflow one lift your hands the lord is ministering to me overflow one lift your hands there is a mighty deliverance that is coming there at the count of three overflow one i want you to shout jesus as you shout jesus i'm seeing gates with chains breaking are you ready now one two three bring that lady that lady going back I'm looking at a lady, but in the spirit, I'm watching. I'm not saying you're a bad girl, my dear. All I'm seeing is a serpent. I'm not seeing a human being. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. I expose that serpent now. Glory to the Father, you must be on the Lord. Hallelujah. hallelujah I want to pray a very interesting prayer don't mind me just allow me I'm ministering under the anointing I'm going to say exactly what I'm hearing in the spirit and if it doesn't sound logical don't worry 
just let me do the prayer snakes be judged snakes be judged snakes be judged snakes serpents of the night be judged serpents of the night be judged serpents of the night be judged God is against you Ebenezer the helper of man is against you snakes I say it again be judged be judged no rest no peace be judged snakes be judged I'm seeing a lady vomiting something. That's what I'm seeing in a vision right now. I don't know what it is I'm seeing, but in the name of Jesus Christ, God is releasing people. There is victory. God is helping people. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing fire, not impartation, fire consuming people's head. And God is saying his restoration of lost glory. That's what I'm seeing. Restoration. Something that used to be in your life and all of a sudden faded away. I'm seeing fire coming on people's heads. Where are they, oh God? I stretch my hands now. Let the fire bring restoration. 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 Help them, please. Restoration. Restoration. I command restoration of every lost glory. Even the lawful captive shall be delivered. All those who are out in front under the anointing here, I declare every legal grounds upon which any spirit is operating in your life at the count of three by the mystery of the blood, it leaves you now. One, two, three, go, 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 go out of their lives in the name of Jesus, out of their lives. When the blood speaks, nothing else speaks again. Victory by the blood of the eternal covenant. Victory by the blood of the eternal covenant. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a family here. And I'm seeing that the father in that family, I don't know if he's out of pressure, but went to a herbalist and they gave him something to go and bury in the house. He may not even know it. This is something that happened a while ago. And whatever it is, seemed to backfire when it came to money issues. He didn't go and pay, like give the herbalist whatever it is. That's what God is showing me now. And I'm seeing that because of that, every door in that family, everything just closed. I'm going to pray. Lord, wherever whoever represents that family here whether inside or outside or online i'm praying right now by the mercy of the god of heaven whatever enchantment and activities of darkness invoked by those herbalists i cancel it right now in the name of jesus i cancel it right now in the name of jesus I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus. I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus. Who is Rebecca? Rebecca. Rebecca, like Becky. Rebecca. Rebecca. I'm hearing a name, Rebecca. Hmm. 
Rebecca. You are seated on the throne. Stand up. You are Rebecca. That's the person I'm talking about. Come. Stand up. You are seated on the throne. Madam, where are you coming from? You came from Abuja. Yes, I'm seeing program. you in a vehicle from Abuja yes, coming. You came alone? I came with my niece. And my younger brother and my cousins, they live in Zaria. You, One came from Kano. My, you, but you came from Abuja. Yes, I came from What's Abuja. your name? Asma Rebecca. 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 Asma. Come. It's time for your victory. Lift your hands. There is. Let her go now. I command the spirit oppressing you. You have come to Koinonia, the place where God dwells. In the name of Jesus Christ, the power that fights you. In the name of Jesus Christ, this woman is going to return with very strange testimonies. Mama, you are Rebecca. I'll pray with you. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy to you. The Lord has located you and end comes to your captivity. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Where are you from? Where are you from? I'm from Samnaka. Please help this woman. Are they, are they, this mama, are they Rebecca? Mama, are you Rebecca? Huh? You are Rebecca, mama? Okay. This one, too, I'm going to pray for you. Sometimes God gives a word and then I'm, I'm talking to you now, my dear. Where are you from? Samnaka. State of origin. Region. Kaduna. You are from Kaduna State. Yes, Come, sir. I want to pray for you. There's trouble in your family. You are in need of the power of God desperately. Hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I bring to end this captivity. The lady that is going back, tap her. Just tell her to look at me. Just look at me. It's over now. In Jesus' name. All of you are Rebecca. My dear, salvation is coming. An anointing is leaving me to you. And it's for your family. From next month, you will start hearing strange testimonies. Open doors. Mama, you are Rebecca. Who else is Rebecca? All of you are Rebecca. I'm going to pray for you. Kai, Ma, I have to pray for you. Yes, ma. The spirit of death is following your family. I'm, I'm not a prophet of doom. I want to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands over our mommy. Help her, please. I command the spirit of death. One of you here, I'm, I don't know which of you, but I'm seeing an anointing coming on one of you in front here. There's one of you, an anointing is coming on you. Um, the Lord is bringing deliverance. Right now, you can't stand it. It's, it's the power of God. One of you, an anointing is coming on you for strange deliverance. Mama, be free in the name of Jesus Christ. Hi. There's, there's serious witchcraft. Excuse me, just a minute. I command that spirit to leave this lady now. You must go. You must let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ. He, he who the Son sets free is free indeed. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ name of Jesus Christ um, this, this mama doesn't speak English I think she speaks Yoruba she, she speaks Yoruba who is Ejimin, can you come or someone just tell her the Lord is bringing breakthrough you can whisper it now here it doesn't have to be it's your mother come the Lord is breaking the Lord is breaking a yoke, the yoke of delay. Ah, as I just mentioned delay, I just saw fire just left me. As I just mentioned that word delay, I'm about to pray on it. But since, since I just saw the fire, let me just do what I saw in the spirit. The spirit of delay, be judged now. The spirit of delay, I say it again, be judged now. The spirit of delay, shadow kasudosh. Ekedoshi ala kotosi atagata. 
the spirit of delay be judged now the spirit of delay open your heart open your heart and pray the spirit of delay be judged now any kind of delay the spirit of delay be judged now the spirit of delay be judged now be judged now be judged now breakthrough for your family God is bringing breakthrough mama God is bringing breakthrough your son will tell you in Yoruba in the name of Jesus Christ there's something on you that makes wrong people come to you I have to pray for you Are you I'm looking at you very bad people come to you for bad reasons no serious person you know what I'm saying I don't want to start bringing long it's not there is something there's a spirit in you that attracts those kind of people they will never pass you and go free they must turn back and this thing is destroying your life hold my hands shout Jesus look at this so you just think it's just love you are in love with a beautiful girl it's not just love out now go in the name of Jesus hallelujah glory to the Lamb glory to the Father you are seated on the throne hallelujah glory to the Lamb I've not seen this in a long time the Lord is showing me a map again and this map is going to Kogi State I'm laying my hands now Kogi State let that anointing begin to find people within that region now I'm praying you come within that region let the anointing find you deliverance for that region now Shatakoto Seketea Kogi State deliverance now from any strange power any force of darkness if you don't know your state of origin and you are from there you can know it now by the anointing in the name of Jesus anyone from that region that's the region the anointing of the spirit is focusing on now I command deliverance now the strong men within those regions let God's people go now release them right now the spirits of the grave the spirits of ancestry I curse you by the God of heaven Hallelujah 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 Glory to the Father Please lift your hands We'll pray for the sick shortly but there are people here why God brought you tonight is to receive the healing anointing I just saw it I don't know where they are they are in almost every overflow there are representations Lord Jesus anyone who you brought here to receive the anointing for healing let that anointing come this is your moment now receive it now ordained by God to receive this anointing today ordained by God to receive the grace for healing I'm seeing that anointing coming on two people in worship team two people worship team that anointing that grace hallelujah glory to the Lamb the anointing to heal the sick you don't just pray for the sick there is an anointing I say it again the anointing to bring healing to transport the power of God from the throne to their lives receive that anointing right now hallelujah hallelujah 
Mama, come please. Please help her. She's not running by herself. It's under the anointing. Mama, I see a new dimension of healing coming on you. A new dimension. Just hold her. A new dimension of healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Ah! This mama is going to pray for the sick and you'll be surprised. There is an unusual anointing upon you for barrenness. For barrenness. I'm praying. Help that lady, please. In the name of Jesus. Receive that anointing, mama. In the name of Jesus Christ. The grace. The grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is asking me to stand in front of you. Just to stand in front of you. That's the instruction I'm getting. The light shines out of darkness. God is removing something from your chest. I'm seeing something leaving you. I don't know what this is, but in the name of Jesus Christ, I stand in front of you. Be free right now. Be free right now. Be free right now. All of you who are standing here in the name of Jesus, I agree with you. And I declare, come, let me touch your child. I'm going to pray for favor. When you hear me say favor, lift your hands and receive. You need it in your life. Too many people have taken advantage of you. Even as... I'm seeing people laughing. That's, that's why I just stopped. This is very strange. A strange anointing is a sign of victory in the spirit. That's what the Lord is showing me. Strange. It's an anointing. Very strange anointing. You see, if you are not spiritual and you don't understand why God does these things, it's not showmanship. The Bible says he's, he filled their mouth with laughter. I read it for you. You can't stand it. It's something that laughter you see is warfare. It's not just laughing hysterically. I release it. The families that is for, the individuals that is for, laughter is a weapon in the spirit. It disarms the enemy. So my dear, when I'm praying for favor, please you stand to receive it. Eh? But I bless your child. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. There's someone, your family member has been missing. This is more than one year. Who is that person? Because the person who is missing is still alive. Let, if she's the one, who is missing? Don't come and tell lies here. Are you sure? My father, Your I talked father. to you about it before. You told me about yes, it? Yes, I can't you remember. Prayed. Where, what happened? When last did you see him? 2016, August, Saturday. He told me he was coming and that was the end. From where? From Edo State, Benin. And you've not seen him? We've not seen him since date. We are still in search of him. How about you? My cousin sister. Your cousin sister is missing. Yes. All these people that leave them. Their loved ones are just fine out. Once they are, don't please, if, if you are not related to the people, don't please don't come here. We're going to pray generally. If you if you do it like that, there will be chaos. How about you? Yes, sir, my in-law. Your in-law? Yes, sir. What do you mean your in-law? From the United States. Okay. All of you, your loved ones are missing. Your loved one is missing. Who is that? Your younger brother. Yes, missing. Since when? 2014. 2014? Yes. They've not seen him? Yes, sir. You see how Satan works? How can somebody leave home? For you to sympathize with people, put them in your shoes. Imagine that your child left home and said, Mommy, I'm coming, and never comes back. I'm prophesying to you three years. Your child went and said, Mommy, I'm coming. Until today. Come, Mama. Give her the mic. 
hold on mama your, ch your child is alive this boy you see are they twins or is it the same person this one this is the only one what happened to him he left school i put him in APU. he refused poly he refused he's busy taking drugs going about lying to people that his parents are dead all over our times they call me in the police station or your state but court that is arrested i don't know how they set him free at times you see our honestly let me speak towards young people it's, it's okay mama it's your only son one 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 that's all yes you, that's how you know it's a spirit because the devil sat down and saw that these boys will bring joy to the mother and then the devil decided to if, will the lady not marry and go huh he's very intelligent in school he was in the you like the school and go away what's his name Awal is his name Awal. Awal. yes Hi. we are going to pray like a month ago from what god is showing me this boy had problem with police they were smoking in the they head. were smoking he, Igbo. He, police came and packed them with he his friends drugs. this is what mama let me talk to you now i'm the one talking to you i know you see when you see me pray about this this drug this thing that drug is a spirit it's more than with due respect to doctors and this thing it's not just because of the physical thing it gives i'm telling you that thing is a spirit if you have a child or you know someone that takes that thing counseling is not the way out there is a real spirit that must be casted out are we together some of you here right now seated in this program you love god but that what what they, they call it codeine again uh, mama 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 don't worry it's it's it's, it's okay it's okay because you see the way these boys are desperate for this money they will coin every kind of story and beg you and lie you give them hundred naira you give, once you give them enough to take this thing they will disappear and go and rubbish it let me tell you there is none of those boys that is bad in himself there is none of those girls that are bad in themselves is the influence of spirits nobody will be killing himself and eating death like that every day mama you have come for miracle service god will do something about you in situation. who is this my brother it's my mom younger brother your for mom's over, younger brother yes for missing. over 10 years we have not seen him 10 years yes we've not seen him oh pray how about you sir my elder you're brother. the pastor that came from warrior yeah. okay. from delta state from delta state okay uh, my elder brother was missing about 20 years ago we really forget, forgot about him in Ghana. He was in Ghana and he's, and he's yes, missing. Yes. Okay, let me pray with you. It's an instruction. Because some of the situations now, they are even very difficult situations. I, I don't know in myself whether some of them are alive or they've gone to be with the Lord or whatever. But my job is to pray. Because God has instructed me to pray. Mama, please stop crying. You came here with faith in your heart. Let me tell you, you must eat the fruit of your labor. And I'm saying this, I'm using this mother as a point of contact, not just to every mother here, but to all our mothers. The force that wants them to labor and die in pain, go to their graves in pain, we challenge that force now. In the name of Jesus Christ. It's an error to sow and someone reap. In the name of Jesus, every true mother that has labored to sow, may they reap in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm praying. Everyone here whose loved one is missing and alive and walking in the earth here, I connect them back now in the name of Jesus. I'm praying for you. I connect them back now in the name of Jesus. Jesus called Lazarus. And when he called Lazarus, he came out. 
I call them by their various names in the spirit. For as long as they are alive and walking on this earth, I put a desire in them to reconnect to their families. Those who have been jailed because, you see, some of these people, let's be very fair, some of them, they, they smuggle their way out of the country. They go to Libya, they go to all of these places. Some of them go to do prostitution, unfortunately. Some of them go because they want to make money. Someone tells them, come, travel, and all of that. So some of them, they may even be in cells in some of these places you may never know but regardless of the case for as long as they are on earth we cry for mercy in the name of jesus christ may they be reconnected back to you in jesus name god bless you please go back to your seat rejoicing go back to your seat rejoicing go back to your seat rejoicing i hope someone is holding that person shouting me my friend come you are doing your ushering work but I will pray for you before you go back eh? look at me I'm looking at you the Lord is telling me to tell you August 7th is a month that breakthrough will begin in a very strange way for you hold my hands August 7th don't forget write it father in the name of Jesus I pray for this gentleman you have revealed to me August 7th I prophesy to him in the name of Jesus Christ may God change your life within that time may God change your life within that time may God change your life within that time I'm seeing a ring a ring in the spirit I'm seeing a ring in the spirit I'm seeing a ring. Ordinary, when you see a ring, you would think maybe God is saying he's bringing marriage. Maybe marriage to families. But this one, God is delivering people from spirit entities with all kinds of fraternities over their lives. Right now, I stretch my hands. That's why it's important to let the Holy Ghost interpret things. I know that many of you may not believe what I'm praying, but you just allow me to pray. Every spirit entity covenanting to you as a husband or as a wife I set fire on this ring I see in the spirit be free from them now ladies be free now I command those spirit entities to release you in the name of Jesus Christ for the gentleman I command freedom for you now from any entity laying claims over you you go to bed and they come to you in the night they try to molest you they try to sleep with you they can use faces of people you know or you don't know or animals anyone under the sound of my voice who any stranger comes to him in the night while you sleep fire is coming on you now 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 i command that they let you go now for some of us when good things are about to happen just when you are about to get it you go in the night and someone comes to sleep with you in that dream as soon as you wake up from that experience no matter what it is it's gone whether it is favor whether it is breakthrough fire is still speaking i'm praying at the count of three oh god you who is a mighty deliverer i pray that your anointing will search for these ones and bring them deliverance now one two three let there be deliverance for you now deliverance for you now from any spirit entity laying claims on your destiny hallelujah thank you jesus 
this lady with lime yes you come no look at me look at me i'm talking at that one with you yes come where are you coming from benway benway state look at me look at this are you seeing she just stood there and while i was looking i just saw a spirit to her look at me and turn the face now it's very funny how these things work see one of the prayers you must pray in your life is for the grace of open eyes if your eyes are closed in this life and all that is open is your brain you will be in trouble open eyes is not something just for prophets it's one of the true riches of the kingdom you must cry that God will open your eyes not to see nonsense around to see something that is destiny molding now look at this girl how will I stand and see someone there and call her out imagine that this lady went back like this to her she will now say oh God so this is how you didn't locate me sensitivity discernment is a priceless spiritual gift sensitivity it comes by praying in the Holy Ghost it comes by praying in the Holy Ghost not wishing praying in the Holy Ghost you activate your organs you have to pray for a long time in the spirit for your spirit to be heightened to be able to perceive spiritual things otherwise you will get into all kinds of error wrong perception that you have started seeing things does not mean they are clear you must continue in the place of prayer until it becomes accurate i just showed you the thing of ring now some of you may see that ring now and then tell somebody it's, it's not marriage as it were you see it was something else but it's a ring this lady has bad luck in her life very bad luck i have to pray for you she just came quietly standing this i would have shared the grace and the dear lady will go back and then it will look as if god is not in the place in the name of jesus i'm seeing you cough i'm seeing her cough that's what i'm seeing in the spirit that she's beginning to cough i don't know why what is having to do with coughing but in the name of jesus christ let everything that speaks against you leave now this lady swallowed something in the dream someone came to her gave her something and she swallowed in the dream if you ever say you like this girl everything in your life goes down immediately i'm not saying she's a bad girl please don't get me wrong i'm teaching her something here she's not a bad girl but this is the operation in her life there are people do you know why we minister to people like that this is what sometimes prophets see that if they don't get discernment they go around saying someone now may not see this correctly and say this girl is a witch he's not exactly wrong in terms of saying that there is war associated with her life you can come now and hold her hands as a businessman in two months of relationship everything goes down and she knows she loves god but if you are not discerning you will now call the poor girl a witch and everybody will start running away from her she's not a witch there is just a challenge and then if you also say she's all right like that and somebody marries her that guy's life will be torn into pieces this is the testimony of so many families it's an uncomfortable truth but it's true human beings carry spirits they carry presence father liberty for her the devil is already ah someone in overflow one and overflow three is being delivered from fibroid 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 i just saw a hand 
reaching into someone's like someone's stomach to bring out something in the name of Jesus Christ that devil of fibro we pray for the sick shortly we'll be very fast at it fibro is gone now in the name of Jesus Christ our time is gone can we pray for the sick very quickly now listen I want you if you are coming here to be prayed for come full of faith you don't have to say what is wrong with you if you are not asked don't worry and all of us who are going to pray for the sick we are going to make this very fast are we together now um, as always overflow one and part of overflow two part of overflow two you will come in here come and stand in front here uh, no no not main auditorium sorry not overflow one the main auditorium and then half of overflow two allow them to come here overflow one move to your projector stand please the remaining part of overflow two and the, those standing at the roadside you can move to the projector stand overflow three all of you trusting god for healing please move to your projector stand we have about 10 15 minutes to do this very quickly while we are doing that ushers and uh, I, I don't know whatever whoever needs to help them submit your prayer requests very quickly if you have your prayer request you are coming out here for healing come come there is a god that heals please if you have your prayer request you can lift it up write it very quickly no no the ushers will collect it ushers and and then if if there are not many pr department can help them let's make it snappy or any other department can help them let's let's make it very We're going to make it very fast please and please let there be orderliness once you have been prayed for we may not have time to take testimonies we are just going to pray very very quickly hallelujah okay let's see um ejimi ejimi and benga overflow three two of you can go to overflow three um let's see pastor alpha and promise overflow one outside pastor femi and kenny overflow two let's do it like that I'll, I'll pray i'll pray for the ones here by myself hallelujah let's pray together in the name of jesus everybody say amen, amen. father we declare corporately that your healing power will begin to flow heal the sick deliver the oppressed and in the name of Jesus, bring yourself glory by the power of the Holy Ghost in Jesus' name. Please make sure while we are praying, the ushers also come to these people in front so that we can have it. We'll be very, very fast so that we finish on time. Thank you, Jesus. You're the name above every other name.
Everything I've dropped here in the name of Jesus becomes an answered prayer. Please, ushers, make sure make sure that we have everyone's request here. Those online connect by faith and praying now. Make sure you are praying. Prophesy. Are you praying? Father, I believe. I believe. If the devil didn't stop your request from getting here, he will not stop it from being answered. Father, in the name of Jesus, let there be miracles. I anoint this request. I anoint them in the name of Jesus. I anoint them by the power of the Holy Ghost. I anoint them in the name of Jesus. Signs and wonders, breakthroughs, impossible situations. Turn things around, oh God. You have declared that you are turning things around. Turn around everyone's captivity. Turn around everyone's captivity. Let there be testimonies. Break the spirit of delay. In the name of Jesus Christ, we decree and declare. Hallelujah. Every time we do this, we do this one as instructed. And then number two, because it's an opportunity to have everyone's desire and everyone's request here. Father, I stand upon these requests by faith. Turn them into testimonies, oh God. Turn them into testimonies, oh God. Turn them into testimonies, oh God. Lord, these requests are a representation of the needs of your people. I stand, oh God, in the name of Jesus on their behalf, and I cry, let fire fall upon this request. And I prophesy to you on account of this request that the Egyptians you see today, in the name that is above all names, may you see them no more forever. I say it again that the Egyptians you see today, may you see them no more forever. 
some of you before this month is over you will return with strange testimonies it's still two days or a day or so to the end of the month between now and even tomorrow may you return with strange testimonies whoever must be judged for this prayer to be answered may it be so whoever must receive a conviction about you between tonight and tomorrow or till whenever for this prayer to be answered we declare it so in the name of jesus and so shall it be in the name of jesus christ put your hands together for jesus lift your hands to receive the prophetic word now we're rounding up the miracle service is not complete if you don't receive a prophetic word prophecy is powerful it's powerful it creates I release testimonies to your life let me say it again because many of you didn't believe it I release testimonies to your life I release testimonies to your life. I release testimonies to your life. I release testimonies to your life. The key that you need to open the door for the next level may be handed it over to you in the spirit. The kind of favor that you will need to testify in the name of Jesus may the God that gives favor to men grant you favor in the name of Jesus for those in need of restoration I prophesy receive restoration for those in need of an urgent miracle a miracle that has to happen on time otherwise it will cost you i stretch my hands in the name that is above all names let it happen to you even within 24 hours let there be that miracle. for those who have never had an opportunity to laugh every time you want to laugh something comes that must force you to cry i announce to you the season of your laughter begins tonight where you have been despised I place an anointing upon you and tonight I call you Beulah and Hephzibah in the name of Jesus Christ anyone here in ministry and things are not working you are doing your best but it's just not working receive the grace to begin to walk in a greater dimension of signs and wonders anyone here in business in the name of Jesus you are entering the season of your best days from now. Anyone here trusting God for a job, for you or for your loved ones, between now and the next miracle service, return with your testimony. Return with your testimony. Return with your testimony. Every challenge plaguing your family, not just you, a family thing, everyone is crying from it could be patterns could be whatever it is i stretch my hands right now and in the name that is above all names i bring those patterns to an end now for those trusting god for financial miracles your miracle the area you are trusting god is directly in the area of finances i agree with you and i release my faith may the god that prospers men surprise you everyone here called barren or standing in for any barren person return as a mother of joyful children the anointing that makes things work the grace for performance i release that grace upon your life everything that is upon your hand now i command it to work in the name of jesus christ and i announce to you let july from july 1st to july 31st 
may it be named a month of strange miracles strange wonders strange miracles strange wonders strange miracles strange wonders in the name of jesus christ tonight for some of you as you sleep may my god show you the secrets of your destiny in the name of jesus christ every area where you are trusting god to give you divine direction in the name of jesus every spiritual mechanism that god can use to communicate to you i declare that let it be so for you revelation after revelation finally whoever needs to arise and help you they already have the capacity all they need is the willingness i pray for you let me tell you breakthrough is very easy when your helper likes you your helper has the means but he needs to have the heart some have the heart but they don't have the means you need both i prophesy to you in the name of jesus that any man and woman position around you that has the ability to help you i pray that god will put it in their hearts to help you I speak over your life a new level of spiritual encounters I say it again a new level of spiritual encounters for some of you I'm holding my Bible as a prophetic act because some of you have divorced this book not willingly but by reason of the operation of spirit the only time you open your Bible is in church or a koinonia right now fall in love with this bible fall in love with the word of god an appetite for the word of god i release upon you every kind of spiritual laziness you say i wake up to pray by 12 and sleep till 8 in the morning or you get up to pray and five minutes you are snoring back it's an attack i cast that spirit over your life fresh fire upon your prayer altar in the name of Jesus Christ we declare peace over Nigeria we declare peace over the north we declare peace over Plateau State we declare peace over Kaduna State we declare peace over Zaria. Specifically for Zaria, we fortify the spiritual borders of this city. And in the name of Jesus, we declare that no orchestration of darkness will arise to disrupt the peace and serenity of the people. May the angels of the Lord, in the name of Jesus, secure the borders of this city. Secure the borders of the north. And we pray that the perpetrators of wickedness be judged by God in heaven. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. You are here and you need Jesus desperately. Keep standing please. You need Jesus desperately. Desperately. You are saying man of God, I need Jesus as a matter of urgency. I have seen the value I have seen the usefulness of Jesus in my life hitherto every time I hear about Jesus I I resent him I scorn and laugh at those who talk about him but from tonight's meeting the Holy Spirit has convicted me and I testify and with all humility I declare that I need him second category of people man of God I love Jesus with all my heart but I know that I need a strengthening in my spiritual life. Things have gone haywire. If God does not help me, there will be no way out for me. You belong to these two categories, Overflow 1, Overflow 2, Main Auditorium. I'd like you to walk out here quickly. Overflow 3, I'd like you to run to your projector stand. Very quickly, I'm counting 1 to 5 and we're done. 1, God bless you. Appreciate them, Koinonia, they are coming. 2, you're still indecisive. It's not good for your destiny. Jesus, I love you. I want to make a genuine decision for you. Three.
please, if they are coming from other overflows, clear the way for them. You are running to Jesus. Don't be ashamed. No man condemns you. You are before his throne of grace to obtain mercy, to obtain grace. We are all products of his mercy and grace. Four, please come quickly, quickly, double up. Apostle, I'm not sure whether I'm born again or not. Join them. Join them very quickly. I remember coming out for an altar call, but I, I honestly don't know the name of what I'm doing now. Join them quickly. Join them quickly. Koinonia, is this the best you can do for them? Jesus said, ye must be born again. Salvation is non-negotiable. Listen, let me encourage everyone. Koinonia is not the only platform for genuine salvation. The first mission of this ministry is massive salvation of souls. We must seek and save the lost. Not just save the lost when they come to us. We must seek them. Are we together? Because many of them may not be in a position ordinarily where they can receive salvation. We seek them through intercession. We seek them by engaging them in the conversation that leads them to Christ. God bless you. Lift your hands, all of you. Some of you are crying. You are standing before the Lord. Honestly, the Bible says, whoever will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. Say this loud after me. You are making a confession to the God of heaven. Say, Jesus. Say it again. Say, Jesus, I believe in you. That you are the Son of God. Tonight, I declare that I need you. I need you in my life. I need you in my destiny. Therefore, I declare that you are my Lord. You are my Savior. You are my King. I hand over my life and everything about me to you and to your Lordship. I receive eternal life. I receive the Spirit of God. And I declare from today until forever i belong to jesus i declare that i'm a child of god the grace to walk in victory is mine amen keep your hands lifted jesus thank you father we give you all the glory for drawing these ones no man can come to you except you draw them i pray that the grace that keeps men let that grace keep these ones the grace that lifts men, let that grace lift them. The grace that secures them, let that grace secure them. In the name of Jesus, I declare your sins forgiven and I declare that the grace to walk in victory be given to you. You will move forward ever and backward never. In Jesus' name I pray. Congratulations. Thank you so much for this bold decision. Please, I'd like you to follow this gentleman waving his hands. Just follow them in concert, all of you. There will be a group of people to just talk and pray with you very quickly. All of you, God bless you. Let's honor them. Let's appreciate them. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.